Let's start with increased security ahead of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. Law enforcement across the state and the country are keeping a watchful eye on possible protests and violence. Thousands of National Guardsmen are in D.C. tonight, among them 300 from North Carolina. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty spoke to a commander about their mission. The North Carolina Army National Guard has supported inaugurations in the past, but this is the largest deployment. 300 guardsmen joining the tens of thousands in our nation's capital. I can tell you with certainty that um, we've all been screened, we've all been vetted, and we are all cleared for our mission. Lieutenant Colonel Jim McVeigh, commander with the North Carolina National Guard, says his soldiers in D.C. are prepared to support amped up law enforcement efforts across the district as Inauguration Day draws near. I think the word that we keep hearing is unprecedented, um, that uh, we have this much support up here from North Carolina, specifically over 300 soldiers. It's not like any time I've ever been to D.C. with the, the heavy traffic. There's a lot of checkpoints and a lot of security measures that are put in place just to safeguard the, those people that are here and so that this, this event can happen successfully. The guardsmen from our state have a specific mission. Assist the Metro Transit Police Department at six train stations across the city. Our role is to support the metros, make sure that anyone coming to the event has freedom of movement. It's unclear if the mission will conclude or continue after Wednesday, but Lieutenant Colonel McVeigh says the guardsmen are ready to handle any challenge or circumstance. The North Carolina National Guardsmen have been training to, to do these types of missions for since last year, since the RNC, and they're positive, they're, the morale is high. Um, this is kind of like them being able to come to the game, to be able to show what they can do. So um, uh, they're all motivated, um, they're taken care of, and they're ready to come out here and support the inauguration. Unprecedented support for an unprecedented transfer of power. Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.